Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting the life on the line to do so. It's the brother Rock from the Jim Atlanta Church back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying or exhorting to an elect member too. All right. Now, uh, uh, it's the spirit um, that the apostle uh, Ramlob did this video here uh, entitled, You Were Hired to Do a Job. Now, I'm going to entitle this lesson, Jake, Where You At? Okay. Because it was a particular Jake uh, that came out and listened to the camp. You know, he stayed down near the whole camp. This was about two weeks ago. And uh, like I said, it's the spirit that um, the apostle did this uh, this lesson here because uh, the Jake, he wanted to know how he could join the camp. OK, uh, that was that was his only question at the end of the camp at the camp got out. You know, he wanted to know how could he join. All right. And the bishop here in our camp, Atazawam, told him, hey, you got to give diligence, you know, come on the comment board. Uh, uh, and stay in tune, you know, with what's going on in Great Millstone, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing and, you know, just keep coming out to the camp and listening. OK, now the bishop told this guy that, you know, and we ain't seen him since. Here it is. This guy we don't know from Adam comes out one day and listen and want to know how he could join the camp or where do we congregate during the week? OK, now I didn't do this lesson because. I was trying to give Jake, you know, the benefit of the doubt. He didn't come a week before last, you know, you know, you don't know you, we don't be knowing, you know, Jake's situation like that or, or his work schedule or things of that nature. But here it is. It's been two camps since, and we ain't seen the guy, man. So I want to, you know, a, hey, a hey, Jake, where you at, man? All right. Because like the apostle Rumlaw did this video, we were hired to do a job, but this is just not no, uh, ordinary, you know, a uh, kind of job where you can just come in and fill out an application. You know, we give you an interview, uh, look over your resume and tell you, you come on, you can join the camp. All right. You got to be called to do this thing, man. And not only called, you have to be chosen. All right. There's only going to be a select f few, you know, that the Lord has already ordained to go out and prophesy and teach the nation of Israel. Okay. So the 144,000. You know, and in and, and doing this job, it's a very serious job. You know, you got to know what you're getting yourself involved in. So uh, long story short, he was told to give diligence, you know, and, and come out to the camp. And we've yet to see the guy. OK, Did you see, you see, that's the thing. Jake just be thinking he come out and he agree with the word uh, and he'd be feeling good about it. He, he like how brothers are going to the scriptures and, you know, hit certain points. You know, he was on the emotional high. He wanted to know how he could join. You know, he wanted to, you know, just just join right off the muscle. But Jake don't be wanting to get that diligence, man. All right. Yes, this is a job like the apostle put, you know, uh, put it. And we were hired to do this job. But we were hired by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Not not by our own will or not by men uh, out on the street teaching. Now, that was the calling, the hearing of the word. OK, but uh, matter of fact, I'm going to grab a, a precept. See, Jake be thinking this is just a, a members only club where he can come in and, and pay forty dollars a month, you know, and, and join, you know, uh, with a membership card. This is uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 22. And verse 14, it says, for many are called, but few are chosen. Because there's been plenty of men that were called to do this word, uh, to do this work, Salakia, and hear the word, but they weren't other chosen, okay? They were just uh, used in order to bring forth the word and potentially wake up a member of the elect and Lord willing, you know, myself included, and a man that are out here teaching in, tr in truth and sincerity are, uh, of the elect, you know, Lord willing, we be those men. Okay. 
So there's a process into coming into the truth, man. You just don't a hey, come up and just, just step on the other side immediately. Here it is. We got a brother uh, that's been listening to our camp uh, for about a year and a half now. You know, he comes out uh, every week and give diligence. He's on the comment board. He's uh, being a brother. Uh, he, he's communicating with the brothers. He's being brotherly, you know, and he's, he has has yet to cross over, you know. And we know that Great Millstone is not accepting any, you know, new members, so to speak, at the time. But it'll be a guy like that to join before a guy that just comes out for one day and want to know how he can get down. OK, there's a process to this thing. So you have to be called. Then you have to be chosen. OK. This is the book of First Corinthians. Chapter seven. I'll start at verse, uh, let me see, uh, verse 22. It says, For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's freeman. Likewise, also he that is called, being free, and a Mashiach, is a Mashiach servant. Ye are bought with a price, but not ye, but not ye the servant of men. Okay? So Jake be looking at it from a serving men uh, uh, standpoint. OK, how could I get down with these guys? I love those breakdowns and I like the way they deal with the so-called white man. I like how they call out the black woman, you know, and be trying to you look at that and join from that standpoint. But you have to be chosen, man. When you're bought with that price, you become a servant of your house shot Mashiach. OK, to do this work. Like the apostle said, this is a job. All right. And we know the job description and we have to fulfill those job duties. Just like in the world, if you're not fulfilling your job duties, you know, you, you cut loose. OK, you were called, but you weren't chosen for that job. You got an opportunity to be uh, to hold a spot for a, a long, a long period of time. But at the end, at the end of the day, either you weren't meeting the job requirements or they just don't need you, man, because the Lord don't need us to, to, to do this work. All right. But we, we we're hopeful that he does uh, elect us to be saved, man, which is that chosen. OK. Um, verse 24, brethren, let every man wherein he is called therein abide with the most high. OK, so you have to be called. You have to be chosen. All right. And the third step to the process of being hired until uh, and getting on to this thing, man, uh, and to this truth. Is giving diligence, okay? Giving diligence because the scriptures, matter of fact, I'm gonna get it. This is uh the book of Second Peter's one and ten. It says, Wherefore the brethren, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. So once you're called, okay. You have to give diligence in order to make your calling and election sure, okay, to be of that chosen uh, select few, the 144,000. The second Peter 1 and 10, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fail. All right. And that's what uh, the bishop told that Jake. I mean, you got to come out. You got to show diligence. Okay. So. And the second thing, once you come out and you get diligence, you have to study, man. You have to know what you're out there talking about. You have to know these prophecies. You know, the spirit has been uh, ramped up lately about knowing the, uh, uh, the breakdowns, you know, and you have to study. OK, because if you're out, if you're out here prophesying and trying to wake up our people, there's going to be questions uh, that arise that you're going to have to be able to answer. You know, we don't even know Jake. He he could be listening to these other camps and just totally uh going off according to the scripture you know you probably don't know uh, uh the doctrine or the breakdowns to 100 percent. you know he might uh disagree that the rfid ch uh chip is the mark of the beast okay um he may um not believe in the uh the, the, the nuclear uh destruction of america you know, all of these things have to be proven before you can just uh, say, I want to be down. You know, we don't even, we, Jake ain't even, 
we ain't even seen, we don't even know Jake, you know, from a can of paint, man. And Jake just be wanting to be a part of something, all right? Because we ain't seen him, man. It's been two weeks, I'm going on three weeks, you know. Uh, what was I going with this? Oh, yeah, studying, okay? This is uh, the book of Second Timothy 2 and 15. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right? So you got to know what you, 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 you're signing up for. You got to know uh, you got to know your job description, man. You got to know the ins and outs of the job, and that comes along with studying. Okay? And then once you've done all of those steps, man, hey, then you'll be considered, you know, in joining the camp. But that's the thing, too. Just because, you know, you're not in, in, in a, a part of a particular camp, you know, if you've been calling, you've been chosen, and you're teaching the 100% uh, the truth and the correct doctrine, you know, you may very well be a part of the elect. But let's say it is, and you do want to join the camp, man. The scriptures tell you, uh, to not count every man as as a friend, you know, right off face value, uh, uh, some along those lines. Okay. Matter of fact, uh, I know it's in the book of Sirach. Um, see, uh, the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Yeah, verse seven. It says, "If thou was get, a, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and not be hasty to credit him." All right. So Jake, we just seen Jake. One day, <laughs> he was out there at camp for maybe two, three hours, and he wanna, you know, come on the other side. Hey Amen. The scripture tell you, Sirach six and seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. And be not hasty to credit him. And how would you be proven? We have to ask you certain questions about the doctrine. Hey, what do you think? You know, what do you, uh, what have you been taught that the mark of the beast is? Okay, what what have you been taught that, um, or what have you been taught about how America is going to be destroyed? All right, or is America in the scriptures? You know, things things of that nature. We got to know what Jake all about. Because in the uh, age that we live in, Jacob did and dabble in different doctrines, you know, and 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 think he got it when really he ain't doing nothing but clouding his uh his brain with a whole bunch of nonsense. All right, stick to one doctrine. Don't be, you know, withering and uh fucking flying in the wind with every uh wayward doctrine. You know, you got to be rooted and and. and, and what the scripture tell you be fully persuaded in your own mind so if this cat believed that great millstone has the 100 percent truth hey man where you at right if you believe in the things in which uh we teach here at great millstone where are you at man it's been two weeks okay but yeah man you know lord willing this lesson was edifying and you know exhorting to even those men that are you know on the internet watching the videos and you know, feel that you've been uh, chosen uh, to teach, man. Hey, come out, give diligence, okay. Get 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 on this job, man, that you've been hired to do. All right. So, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom.